Welcome back. Our first guest is Donna Gorman Silberman, the County Clerk of Rockland County. Welcome, Donna. Hi, George. It's so nice to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So, Donna, delighted to uh, have you here. I know um, you uh, uh, were recently elected last year as the uh, clerk. You were the acting clerk. Unfortunately, you assumed the office in a way in which you would never want to assume it, um, really kind of um, uh, fill in the shoes of a, of a giant in Rockland County, Paul Piperato, who unfortunately passed away suddenly and tragically uh, last year, early last year. And um, you uh, assumed the role as acting uh, county clerk and then uh, ran for your own election and won in November. So congratulations Thank you. on that. We're, we're delighted to have you in. I know Paul had been a guest a number of times on this program. So, um, so we're going to learn a little bit about you and we're going to learn a little bit about the office of county clerk. So Donna, maybe you could just uh, tell our viewers and the residents of Clarkstown a little bit about yourself, your, your background and what got you into local government. Uh, absolutely. Um, I was I moved up here when I was four years old, and my where from from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. My parents were born and lived in the Bronx growing up, um, and we moved here. I was four years old, and my parents quickly became involved in politics. And growing up as a as a young kid, seeing your parents doing politics, you were dragged to help out during mailings. This is pre technology, right. so we had to do with the mailings and 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 the campaigning and the. And, and going around to the storefront, sending out stuff. Um, and I always saw how my parents were available to the public and, and loved helping. I grew up always saying I was not going to get involved in politics, mm -hmm. but I think it's just in my blood. And I enjoy being around people and helping as much as I can. When Paul brought me in as, county, as the deputy county clerk, the office is just an amazing place. The people that I work with are they're the ones that put the county clerk's office on the map because I get phone calls all the time about how wonderful our, our office is. Um, when Paul passed, it was tragic, and I never thought... I was always happy as the deputy because Paul was just such a big person in the office. And, and when we were talking about the next step for our department, I didn't want to bring anybody else in. I, we, were, we are just a family, and I, have the, I had the experience... I just wasn't out in the front like Paul was, mm -hmm. um, and I thought that I could do it, um, and I went and I ran. It wasn't easy running during mm -hmm. COVID, right. um, but I did, and I'm thankful that I got the, the, the votes that I did. Um, I don't want to brag, but I'm now the first county clerk that's female, mm -hmm. so I think that was a big, uh, that was a big step. Yeah. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, you know, um, it's interesting. We've had a number of firsts in that, in that regard here in uh, uh, here in uh, Rockland County, you know, Teresa Kenny, the first yeah. uh, female supervisor in, in Rockland, first female county clerk. So um, congratulations again on Thank that. Thank you. Uh, and just uh, a little bit again, just uh, your, your background. So you came up from the Bronx. Uh, where do you live in the county? And, uh, I, and live in, I live in Suffern. Mm -hmm. um, I, went, I graduated from Fairleigh Dickinson with a business management degree. I worked at the town of Ramapo in the assessing office for probably about 10 years, moved over to finance. Um, I had bookkeeping back, uh, accounting background in my business thing. And then I came here after working in the finance department. So I, ha I worked on the town budgets. So I have a lot of the financial stuff in my background. Um, yeah, so when I came over to the county clerk's office, we kind of did a lot of upgrading in mm -hmm. the office with technology and, and things. And I think that we're pretty well in the forefront, but with technology, it's always changing. Right. So you're always looking for the next big thing. So mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. We're looking for what next can we bring to the office. Right. But the services we provide now are really good services. So mm -hmm. um, I could go through that. I know a lot of people. Yeah, sure. So, so we'll, we'll get to that in a moment, just what, um, what the county clerk does. And you're the official keeper of the record. Uh, you know, for the county, for the legislature, for governments, and, and what have you. So a uh, very important office that people don't realize uh, how extensive and broad your responsibilities are. But uh, before we get to that, just uh, one of the initiatives I know we had worked on with Paul, and I think you were actually involved with, um, uh, a number of years ago when I was actually um, uh, the chief operating officer, I'm sorry, chief executive officer at RLC. Now, Bridges, uh, Paul uh, worked, and I know you were part of it, uh, with trying to make the office more accessible with the uh, automatic doors and with the uh, counter that's a uh, wheelchair accessible. There was uh, several thousand dollars worth of, of renovations that were done there that Paul was able to kind of bring to the fore. To, and I know you were, you were instrumental with that as well. So uh, 
I just wanted to kind of put that on the record because I know it was a great thing that happened and, and it really is a fully accessible office now for people with disabilities. Yeah, right? absolutely. That was one of the things that was lacking in our office when somebody would come in in a wheelchair. They couldn't reach the countertop. Um, it, we made a lot of changes there, so we're very happy about that. Right. So tell us a little bit, our residents, about the, um, uh, what the county clerk does. Like what are, what are some of the records and, and, uh, that are kept there and, and how they're managed? All right, one of the biggest things is we keep all land records, all, all t uh, title to, to property, mortgages, everything that has to do with land-related documents we keep in the office. So if people, a lot of people get these letters in the mail, and I don't know if it's been lately since COVID, um, you know, it's very important for you to have a copy of your deed in your house, um, pay us $60 and we will send you a copy. Well, you pay this company $60, they send to us a request for a copy of their deed for $10 and they make $50 on. So if anybody needs a copy of their deed, they just have to come to us, um, a copy of the mortgage, a copy of a satisfaction. It's always filed in our office. Mm -hmm. So we do the land records portion and we're now, it's all electronic, most of it. Mm -hmm. I'd say probably about 80 to 90% of our land records that come in is, is done electronically, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, all court records. If you are in Supreme Court or County Court, all those records are kept in our office. When I was growing up, I was like, you know, if somebody goes to court and they want a copy of their records, where do they go? I had no idea. It's our office. <laughs> <laughs> Light bulb went right. off. <laughs> um, we also, we are the keeper of all the notaries in mm -hmm. Rockland County. Um, so if somebody needs to send documents out of the country for an apostille, they have to come to us for either a registrar letter mm -hmm. or, or um, what they call a blue flag for the notaries. We do passport processing. We're one of the authorized agents for the U.S. Department of State for that. Um, we do naturalization ceremonies. Um, we've only held one since COVID, but because the, the courts are now allowing only like 20 people in a courtroom at a time, we've kind of held off on, on mm -hmm. the naturalization ceremonies because we did one without family. And it's just, even yeah. though the resident, they were, the citizens were very happy to be naturalized, to not have family members is kind of tough. Um, th th those, I, I love those. And Paul did such a wonderful job with yeah. that. So I can't wait till we get back to those. Typically they were at the fire training center. In, in most cases, there were a few instances where Paul moved into other places and it's actually, a Supreme Court proceeding, correct? Yes. Um, so there's a judge, a presiding Supreme Court judge that'll be there, but uh, the, the county clerk and, you know, runs, run, basically runs the show and a uh, lot of elected officials, you know, uh, will come to it and, and there'll be uh, typically a, uh, a speech as well. So um, so looking forward to when we can, can come back, to, you know, to, to those days as well. But yeah. uh, what are some of the other things that happen in, from the clerk's perspective that you take care of? Um, well, veterans, we have we have this great program, um, these two great programs. Mm -hmm. One's called the Favor Program and one's called the Saves Program. And with the help of, of Debbie Vobracek in our office, we helped launch that with Paul. And Favor stands for, now let me get this right, Find and Assist Veterans of Record. Mm -hmm. And that was started basically with the veteran agency who wanted to get people to file their DD-214. So if something came up with the veterans, they were able to find keep the veterans where they lived and stuff. So, but it's more than that. People come in, they get a, um, they file their DD-214. So now it's always on record. If they ever need a certified copy, they can always get one through our office. But it gives them a discount card. And we have businesses that registered with that, also with the saves. Usually if the business uh, signed up for favor, they accept the saves. And saves is salute all volunteer emergency service mm -hmm. providers. So all EMTs and firemen, they can come in also for a card um, right. at our office and, and, and get discounts at these businesses too. And that's a, both, those, both of those are great programs because ultimately what they do is they're really, they're helping a lot of vets and as vets age, you know, uh, and they have uh, situations can materialize, uh, finding those records is really important because you need that DDT, uh, DDT, DD214 um, for, um, for benefits and, and well, there's property property right. exemptions. Right, as uh, well. Clarkstown has that too, yeah, right? Absolutely, for veterans? absolutely yeah. for veterans. So, it's a very important program, and and uh, so kind of visionary that, that we were able to, to kind of do that through the county clerk's office, and it's a great service. Also, the um, uh, you know the uh, helping our uh, first responders as well. I know Paul was big into that, but the clerk's office has been been great with that. Some of the other things that you're involved with, uh, obviously, pistol licenses, right? Mm -hmm. um, and um, and uh, the certification of businesses. Can you speak about that a little bit? 
business certificates is uh, you come into the office well are you actually the forms everything is available online on our website rocklandcountyclerk.com mm -hmm. um, the business certificates when you want to start a business if you're not incorporated or an LLC you can come in and register your name which which holds your that name for your company in the mm -hmm. county and it, it puts people on notice your property your business location the phone number and it's it's a thirty five dollar processing fee you leave with two certified copies the bank usually wants one and then you just keep one for whatever you might need right. but it's it's a very simple process mm -hmm. um, you fill it out online you bring it to our office it needs to be notarized my whole office are notaries. Oh, we have great. 30 people on mm -hmm. staff that are notaries. Right. So if anybody needs a notarization during this whole COVID thing, that we've been open for right. that for that purpose. And, and where exactly is the uh, uh, the clerk's office located for people that may never have been there? Okay, so this is a pain in the neck because mm -hmm. our address is 1 South Main Street. So if people go to 1 South Main Street, they go to the front of the courthouse and the doors are locked. So we always say it's 1 South Main Street, but if you're going to Google the address, it's, it's behind 11 New Hempstead Road. So you're going to pull in 11 New Hempstead Road, you're going to pull in the back of the building, which is a huge parking lot, and you'll see the, the gate going over the bridge to the courthouse. We're on the first floor of the courthouse. Right. So when you go into that courthouse building, you make a, when you go right into the door... You go straight, straight through. In, straight through. Yeah. Right, straight through. And our doors are locked right now because right. of the pandemic. We ask that everybody make appointments. Mm -hmm. But that's been such a great thing because it's keeping people safe. Right. Um, there have been times in our office where there's a bottleneck at our door where mm -hmm. people are lined out the door for passport processing or notaries or whatever we're doing. Mm -hmm. This keeps everybody safe. It keeps one family at a time. So if you need to do, I don't know where everybody's going, but if you need a yeah. passport, you're yeah. going to come in. But yeah, and pistol licenses too. So right. any kind of service in our office, we, we, we will accommodate you if you can't get an appointment when you need one. But we do ask that you make one, and right. it's, it's kept everything so much safer. Yeah, and the, the other thing, though, is pretty much everything's online, too. Like a lot of these, you can research records at any point, you know, in 24-7 in, uh, access, which is great. And that's something that uh, really has been a wonderful thing through the, through the clerk's office. It's one of the most accessible offices, uh, you know, uh, in, in the county, you know, probably in the state. It, you guys have done a great job in terms oh, of that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Paul and I, with the, with the website, mm -hmm. when we were trying to raise more revenue during the 2008 Great Recession mm -hmm. and the county was looking for funding, you know, it was brought up, why don't we start charging subscriptions for the Internet? And, uh, and the two of us were like, you know, we want to keep it free. Keep it free, and whoever needs a copy then can pay for the copy that they need. But mm -hmm. we like to keep the access free. We didn't right. want to put any kind of... Uh, b uh, blocks on anybody not being able to get the information they needed. Right. Well, Donna, um, sorry to believe our, you know, we're, we're pretty much out of time. So uh, you're kidding. <laughs> I, told, I told. Oh you my before, goodness, this I, is great. I, 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 I told you beforehand, Donna, that that we uh, uh, that the ten minutes would go quickly. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, thank you so much for being such a wonderful guest. Oh, thank you for having me. I, it's, it's, you know, it's and nice. if and if folks want to get in contact with you or, or the clerk's office, maybe you could just give your contact information. Yes, it's uh, 845-638-5072. That's my personal line. Mm -hmm. And my email is silbermd, S-I-L-B-E-R-M-D, at co.rockland.ny.us. And, and the county uh, clerk's website again, one more time? Rocklandcountyclerk.com. Okay, great. Okay. So, Donna, thank you so very much. Oh, thank I really, you. really appreciate it. You've been a wonderful guest. Congratulations on your election. Thank and, you. And continue to do a great job as our county clerk. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, my God. You're so great. So, <laughs> George, I, I, thank you. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> you, I told you it would go quick. You know? It really did. Yeah. Oh, George, my goodness. Was that your phone? Yes, it was. It was really, I mean, I had headphones on, and it was really obvious. So, uh, so you so want to maybe just re-record that last bit? Like, oh, we're so close. Okay. <laughs> we were so close. Yeah. Thank you for being here, and have a good bit of contact. Info. Yeah, it literally was like, as you were just saying, you, you know, you hard to believe our time right now, but thank you for being here. Okay. So we just do that last. Okay, piece, sure. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and you know, and, the hard part. And you know what? The worst part of it was, it was like a, like a telemarketer. It was a number. It was like a. Is your car warranty? Yeah, my car, it's, it's, I can't believe it. How'd you know? I get them all day I, long. I'm so sick of that. <laughs> all right, so. We're still okay. Well, Don, it's hard to believe that our ten minutes is almost up. I so, can't believe it. So, so thank you. I want to thank you for being a wonderful guest, and and maybe. Um, 
uh, you could give your contact information again if folks want to get in contact with you. Sure. Well, the, the phone number to our office is 638-5070. Uh, my direct line is 638-5072, and you're more than welcome to call. Anybody's more than welcome to call me. And my email is silbermd, S-I-L-B-E-R, M as in Mary, D as in Donna, at co.rockland.ny. US. And the uh, website for the county clerk? RocklandCountyClerk.com. Well, you know, Don, I want to thank you uh, again. Congratulate you on uh, your election and, you know, uh, continue to do a great job as our county clerk. Thank you, Supervisor Holman. Thank you for having me here. It was great. fun. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.